Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're gonna to be making a blueberry cake. Now, this recipe is sweet, airy, and full of flavor. And it's really good for breakfast or dessert. So, let's get started. Okay, so for the ingredients, you're gonna need half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature. You're gonna need the zest from one large lemon. You're gonna need one cup of granulated white sugar. And you're gonna set aside one tablespoon of that for sprinkling the topping. You're gonna need one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of fresh blueberries. And you're gonna pick those over to pick the best ones. And you're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour and you're gonna set aside a quarter cup of that to toss the blueberries in. And then you're gonna need two teaspoons of baking powder, one and a quarter teaspoons of kosher salt, half a cup of buttermilk, and finally, one tablespoon of raw sugar. Okay, to start things off, you're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 176 Celsius. Now, using a stand mixer or a handheld mixer with a paddle attachment, cream the butter with the prepared lemon zest and the cup of sugar minus the one tablespoon of sugar that you're gonna use for the topping until the mixture is light and fluffy. Now add the egg and vanilla extract and beat the mixture until it's well combined, scraping down the sides of the bowl as needed with the rubber spatula. Meanwhile, in another bowl, toss the blueberries with the quarter cup of flour In another large bowl, whisk together the remaining flour, baking powder, and salt. Next, you're gonna add half the flour mixture to the batter and stir it with a rubber spatula or with a stand mixer with the paddle attachment to incorporate it. Next, you're gonna add all of the buttermilk and whisk it until it's well combined or use a stand mixer. Next, you're just going to add the remaining flour and whisk until the flour is absorbed into the batter. Fold in the blueberries gently into the dough and you should discard the excess flour from the blueberry bowl. You can do this by using a rubber spatula to fold in the blueberries. You just wanna make sure that you don't break the blueberries at this stage. Grease an eight inch or nine inch square or round baking pan with butter or coat it with a nonstick spray. You can line the inner surfaces of the pan with parchment paper as well. Now pour the batter into the pan, spreading it with a rubber spatula if needed to fill the pan. Finally, you're gonna sprinkle the surface of the batter with the remaining tablespoon of white sugar and the raw sugar. Now for the baking. You're gonna to wanna to bake this for 40 to 45 minutes. A nine inch pan will be done in closer to 40 minutes, while an eight inch pan usually needs about 40 to 45 minutes. And you always wanna check with a toothpick for doneness. If necessary, you can always return the pan to the oven for a couple more minutes to cook through the middle. Once the cake has cooked through, remove it from the oven and let it cool for at least 15 minutes before serving. And just like that, you've made your very own blueberry cake. This cake is sweet, airy and light, and the combination of lemon and blueberry really work in your favor. 
For another option, you can try making this cake as cupcakes. So you would make the batter the same way, but you would fill it in a cupcake pan and you would bake it for about 28 to 30 minutes or until you can stick a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean. Now this is the consistency you're looking for in your cake. You want a light golden crust with a soft crumbly interior. As always, this recipe and many, many more are available in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine, Volume 1, Finding Your Inner Chef, and it's currently available on Amazon, and the link is in the description box. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoy content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding new cooking videos each and every Friday. All right, until next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine, peace.